Okay, so um, building upon the previous video where we were using PSR um, command line to extract the pack files, we now have uh, Total Commander, uh, which is a program, a, a sort of user interface program that allows us to use a PSR plugin in order to extract the pack files, but in a much more friendly and easy to use manner. So, um, what you want to do, head to the link in the description, it will take you to this direct page, hit the download and once you've got the download you can just extract it and you'll get these two files uh, the first one being an installer the second one being a zip file of the plugin you can leave this zipped up uh, what you want to do run the total commander installer um, and just go through obviously the necessary requirements I'm going to put no on this because I don't want the other languages installed if you do then obviously click it um, there are some files that were previously left here from my previous installation of this but I did uninstall it obviously some files weren't removed uh, I don't want a shortcut on the desktop so next next and it is done okay so once that's uh, installed you can go ahead and open it up from your um, start menu so T total commander total commander 64 bit and you'll get this pop-up box at the beginning it will ask you to press a certain number button to start the program um, it was three then it was two and now it's one for whatever reason um, just press the corresponding button uh, you'll get this pop up um, just ignore it hit OK and now we can see a sort of um, folder view of my C drive on both sides but I'm going to focus on this left side for now and what I want you to do on this left side just navigate to this folder so you can see here I'm in uh, my PC desktop and then I've got some folders where this has been extracted to so you need to get to this folder using this program so for me be users uh, Joe desktop and no man's sky mods and I've got it in a folder called tools and it's here total commander with PSR plugin and once you're in this folder you'll see uh, the zip file here if you double click into it it'll open it but then recognize it as a plugin and it'll ask you if you want to install it obviously we're going to click, uh, hit yes um, and I'm just going to overwrite this um, so once you get this pop up box it just says access denied then you just have to click as administrator and it'll just redo it as the administrator privilege and obviously I've got this already installed again so I'm just going to hit overwrite all and um, hit ok here so now it's installed um, what I'm just going to do is navigate to um, somewhere I've got a pack file so you can see here uh, there's, a, there's a pack file, there's the extension PAK uh, it's nmsarc.ce8dde7c obviously no idea what that means and if I try and look into it I can't what we need to do is go into configuration go to options and then down the left hand side choose packer and then this button here so it says packer plugins configure packer extension wcx's press that it'll open up a window and then all files with extension ending with and you're going to type PAK for the pack files and I'm going to choose this plugin so it's going to associate any pack file uh, with this with this plugin so hit OK and then OK and then you should see this uh, icon went from like a white paper um, sort of bit like this it went to uh, more of like a packaged like a 3D cube so now this means we can go into the file and we can look at all the subfolders inside of it and we haven't had to extract it, we haven't had to run command line we are simply browsing into it at the moment um, so if I did want to um, extract a file, so say I went to textures and UI HUD menus, so say I wanted this file, I'm just going to go back a few pack extraction, um, so say I wanted this file but only this file whereas before we'd have to extract the entire pack file now we can just go in go straight to the file you want click and drag and just drop it into your um, windows into your folder and I've got that file um, extracted without taking any of the other files or de um, decompressing and unpacking the entire pack file so <coughs> that's something simple we can do um, let's say I took out um, a folder so you can see here where did it go to menus and there's the file so say I made some modifications to that and I wanted to pack it what we'd have to do is navigate to this folder so obviously I've got it here desktop no man's sky mod so users I'm going to use this side um, 
chill, desktop, no man's sky mods, PK extraction, and there's the folder menu. So I want to uh, repackage this as a pack file to then be used in the game because if I make any if I made a modification to this file this mbin file if I made a modification to that and I wanted only that to run I don't have to have the entire um, pack file so all these folders I don't have to have all of them repackaged into a pack file and replaced um, in the in the install directory I can simply package this up so I can choose menus here select it and um, which one so pack files and uh, when you click it you're gonna get this uh, option box pop up make sure you choose um, this drop down here so you, you've, you've selected this radio button to choose an another um, file type and you're gonna select it down and choose pack um, don't bother clicking on that. Um, it's going to use the external pack that you've already installed and then just click OK. Uh, obviously it was a very small file so it was uh, extremely quick. If it's a bigger file or it's multiple files you'll get a pop-up just showing you the progress that's going. So now if we go back you can see I have menus.pack. I could take this, copy, go to the game data, PC bank, so here's where all the original files are and if I paste it in it's there at the bottom. What I would recommend people doing is rename this to NMS Arc, so exactly the same as all the rest of files are called, or start with NMS Arc dot, and then here, because I want it to be at the top, I could type in uh, one, and then it's going to put this file towards the top by naming convention. So if I sort it by name, you can see one then it's two, then four, then and so on. So if you want your mods to be loaded, you're supposed to put them at the top because it loads it in order. So it'll load this file first, then this file, then this, and so on and so on and so on. So that's just a quick overview of um, unpacking and repacking pack files, opening pack files without having to extract them in a more user-friendly manner. So uh, I hope this helps, and uh, thanks for watching.